Yo, what is up boys and girls? Today, I am finally bringing you that sensitivity video I promised I would make. People have been asking for it every day and I finally get to make it today. I'm gonna go over everything that I use to play Fortnite, my whole oh setup, my, my sensitivities, and uh, anything relevant to what makes my aim so good in Fortnite. All right, so first thing, my uh, settings for my computer. I play full screen mode, 160 FPS, on a 144 Hertz monitor, every setting on low. These settings don't matter because I'm playing on advanced settings. So here I have 2.0 build sensitivity, 2.7 edit sensitivity, use advanced options on. My X is 57%, my Y is 55%, all the boosts are down to zero. My ADS is at 14 on both. And this has always been perfect for me. 14 is always the perfect ADS sensitivity, even between the other stick and this one. And then the boosts again are at zero, damping time is at zero, aim assist should always be at 100%, and the most important part, linear, not exponential. Here is my sound settings in case any of you guys want to see them. Colorblind mode is off. Foot controller is off because you don't need it with the linear settings. In case you guys want to see my binds, edit on left stick, switch mode is right on d-pad which is my paddle. Build controls are all the same, edit left stick. Pick trap is my down on d-pad, and then I place it with R3. And then my edit controls, these are all the same original ones. My dead zone is at 0.12 and 0.10. And also, for 0.10, there's two dead zones that are 0.10. So in case you guys didn't know that, I'm on the second one. Uh, let me show you guys my controller setup. I did this in the last video too, but I'm going to do it again in this one. For those of you that don't know, I play with a normal PlayStation 4 controller with a Dominator Strike Pack. So the Dominator Strike Pack is just this thing right here that gives you two paddles. Instead of buying a scuff, you get to, you can buy this, which is way cheaper than a scuff. It's only like $40 on Amazon. And uh, you plug it into your controller, into the USB slot. And then this end plugs into your PC. And you have two paddles, which is huge for making you a better and faster player mechanically. The Dominator Strike Pack, they sell two extra paddles that I uh, I didn't showcase in my other video. So this is what the paddle looks like right here. Basically, you pop it off like this and you put the other one on right there. It, it goes with a little magnet into the hole. So this is the second design. They have two designs for their paddles. One goes here on the, on the controller and one is farther back. So this is what they look like from the front. Personally, I like the uh, the second set a little bit more than the old ones, but they're both fine. The paddles are an extra ten dollars if you want to buy the attachments. It's up to you if you do get them, but uh, the originals are pretty good too. So this is what they look like when you click them. When I play with my hand cam, if you pay attention closely, you can see me uh, clicking them. So I use my left paddle for jumping and my right paddle to take out builds. The way the paddles work is you map them to a certain button on your controller. It, it's not an extra button. The paddle is just any button you want from your controller. So that's why my build button, it says it's a uh, left arrow because it is left arrow, but it's actually the paddle. So the paddle and left arrow both do the same thing and the paddle and X both do the same thing. On the controller sticks, I use these brand new, I just bought these, they're called Galaxy Control Freaks. I used to use these old ones called FPS sticks. I wanted to buy a new pair of these, but I couldn't find them on Amazon, so I just decided to try these out. They're really not that different, but you can see that the blue one is a little bit bigger than the purple one. The blue one has a, a rounded top, and the purple one is dented in. So both of these have their pros and cons. I feel like my aim is a little bit better with the blue one, but uh, especially farther range because it gives you a little bit more control. But the purple one is way more comfortable and uh, I feel like my builds are way more clean with the with these than with this one. Either way though, I'm still really good with either one. It doesn't matter if you guys want to try them out. I don't think it really matters that much. When you buy these Galaxy Sticks, it comes with two. One for the left stick, one for the right stick. But I only use the one on the right stick. If you want, you could even use the little one on the right stick instead. But I like this big one. My computer specs, I have an i7-4790 Intel, NVIDIA GTX 1070, I have 16 gigabytes of RAM, and a 1 terabyte SSD on Windows 10. And that is my specs. So now you guys know exactly the setup I have, and uh, you know why my aim is so good. Basically, a big part of it is the Galaxy Sticks. 
but also a big part of it is having the perfect sensitivity. If you guys haven't watched it yet, make sure you go watch my sensitivity tutorial that teaches you how to find your sensitivity on linear. That way you uh, you can make sure you're on the correct sensitivity and have your optimal aiming sense. So let me know what you guys want to see more of and here is some solo games I recorded earlier today. Itch. Look out of my game, bro. So fucking good, man. You can piss, you can piss, you can piss. No! Oh, I thought I was gonna die to fucking fall damage, bro. I'm so fucking cracked. Alright, I'm good. Oh my god, that was the fucking best game ever. <laughs> Yo, give me that head, boy. Look at me. I'm the champion now, bro. Jeez. You two are removing comments from the whole platform.